Hello all, this is Anil Kumar. Welcome to VZD Academy. I'm the faculty for GATE, IES and PSUs for Digital Electronics subject. In the previous lecture, I told you the entire syllabus of digital system or digital electronics. Now, let me explain the introduction of digital system. Basically, uh, before going to tell or before going to introduce the digital system, I would like to explain the drawbacks or uh, we can say disadvantages of analog system. Basically, in the universe, we have uh, the available inputs. Available inputs are analog signals. I, I can say that this is what analog signal. Analog signal. The problem with this analog signal or drawbacks with this, drawbacks with this analog signal is this is a signal which cannot be able to transmit for long distance. If, if we want to send this signal into long distance, we need more power or more equipment or more input connections. For all these things, we need a more uh, costable things. That is what one of the disadvantages. And if I want to transmit the signal from one place to another place or one device to another device, the problem of noise is occurring more. So this is what one of the major disadvantages in analog system. To process a digital system and to transmit a input signal uh, in digital system, what we are doing is simply we are just converting this analog signal into digital signal. To convert this analog signal into digital signal, sir, what we are doing is we are just using a block called ADC. We can say ADC. I want to call it as analog to analog to digital converter. Analog to digital converter. This is what a syllabus I told you in the previous lecture as a fourth unit. We have ADC and EAC. I told you in the previous class itself. Here we have four types of ADC, sir. The one ADC is <coughs> counter type ADC, counter type, and second one is flash type, flash type, and third one is SER, successive, SER, successive approximation type, and fourth one we have, we have also fourth one that is called. Uh, analog to digital converter we can say dual slope du dual slope adc we can say these are the four types of analog to digital converters by using these four types of digital converters analog to digital converters we are just processing a signal we are just processing a analog signal and we are just converting the analog signal into a output called 101100 now this is an analog signal and this signal is a digital. So this conversion is happening because of these four types of analog to digital converters. Sir, after converting analog signal into digital signal, what we are doing is we have we have an input called binary input here. This is what binary input. By using this binary input, we are just converting this entire binary data this entire available binary data into we are just converting into codes different types of codes in codes we will uh, learn about a binary code binary code and bcd code and xs3 xs3 code all types of codes we will learn about we will just converting this available output of ADC binary into different codes we are converting and after conversion we are just using this binary data and by using this binary data we are able to compress or we are able to convert this binary data into different codes and by using this binary data we are able to compress or we are able to construct different kind of logic circuits logic circuits or gates and we are we are you by using this binary data we are just compressing the logic gate expressions we can say truth tables or uh, we can say excitation equations or truth table equations we are compressing it by using with the help of k map k map and also by using boolean algebra boolean algebra sir so what i am trying to tell what i am trying to say the entire cell four types of uh, or ADCs we have seen in the fourth unit unit number four we have seen about all these things 
unit number 4 and I told you in the previous lecture all these concepts we are learning in the unit called unit unit 1 I told you in the basics of digital and after completion of this second part the output of binary input as a code definite as like a binary code as like a BCD code or as like a XS3 code or as like some expression logic expression the output of binary data is coming towards like a code or something else to the next block is we can say this is called digital system this is called digital system sir basically we have different types of digital systems one is I can say <coughs> DSP we can say digital signal processing and then second one is microprocessor and then third one is microcontroller all these are digital systems which are used to accept different types of binary codes or binary inputs and they are processing it and then they are giving the required binary output or we can say digital output only sir what kind of circuits what kind of gates or what kinds of what kind of structures are involved in these three types of digital systems if we can see in digital system we have different types of combinational circuits combinational circuits and also we have sequential circuits I told you in the first unit first lecture itself we have different types of combinational circuits off adder full adder and carry look ahead adder we have uh, mux multiplexer demultiplexer and I told you many kind of combinational circuits and even our even sequential circuits also we have seen in sequential circuits uh, we have seen flip flops counters counters and also we have seen resistors sir all these kind of combinational circuits and sequential circuits are existing in DSP processor or microprocessor or we can say microcontroller so now the entire structure we are just calling it as digital system so it can perform it can perform adding uh, adding operation or it can perform multiplexing operation or it can perform counting operation or it can perform flip up operation whatever the operation we require we are just giving the input to particular digital system and it is producing the required output we can say output of digital system of course this output of digital system is in binary nature or we can say digital nature <coughs> digital nature itself sir I told you in the this class first itself in the universe we have only available inputs are analog and we don't know and we don't know and we do not understand digital output we just understand only analog output because we are the humans and we can understand only analog outputs and analog inputs we cannot able to understand 101011 and this this kind of digital outputs to understand this entire digital system output we just need to convert this digital output back to analog output or analog input now we are just using another device called DAC this is called digital to digital to analog converter analog converter so what I am doing here is I, I told you in the previous lecture itself we have two types of digital to analog converter first one is weighted resistor weighted resistor DAC and second one is R to 2 R ladder DAC sir this is what the final block of the digital system so now this block is using to convert analog or we can say binary output to uh, analog output binary to analog or we can say digital to analog this is that is the reason why we are calling it as digital to analog system so now the output of digital to analog converter we can say it is completely analog signal so whatever the signal we are just applying here we are just getting the same output so this is what 
the distal system in this distal system this is this anti syllabus we are learning in the unit 1 and this is combinational circuit unit 2 unit 2 and this sequential uh, circuits we are learning in unit 3 <coughs> and then uh, this ADC and then uh, DS is we are learning in fourth unit and the entire data entire data storing capabilities and how to store how to erase uh, all those things we are learning in unit 5 so this is called distal system indirectly we are just learning a, a, a simple block diagram in digital electronics thanks for watching please do subscribe